Okay, so I'd like to talk about creating a parve section on a surface that is uh, not necessarily even and straight. So the first thing I want to do is just uh, bring out a, uh, a plane from the surface menu. Uh, it doesn't have to be too big, just say something like this here will be quite adequate. From here I'm going to select the plane and I'm going to deform it by uh, going to my transform menu and selecting cage edit bounding box world and just leave the default as is and I'm going to grab one set of uh, points and I'm going to just drag them down and I don't know we'll grab these guys here kind of bring them up like that just so that we've got a surface that looks something like that there to get rid of that we hit escape and then we can select our control cage and we have something like that. Now if you're wanting to um, parve set something like this then I'm just going to switch to my red layer color and the very first thing I want to do is go to the curve menu and select extract isocurve. Now I'm going to select my surface for isocurve extraction and just snap to say the midpoint there and then I'm just going to create uh, say a few more layers uh, not layers sorry uh, curves they don't have to be even anything just like that will do fine. One of those curves, that original curve, I'm going to put onto the green layer color and this is going to be our master curve and all the others will be our uh, slave curve. So I'm going to then go into my gems menu and select a tool called gem on curve multi. When we do that we're going to grab that primary or master curve and put that into the window here and then all of the other curves, the red ones, we'll just select all of them at once and pop those into the secondary window here. Now you'll see here that we have a layout of gemstones and all of those culets are pointing toward F4 which is the normal uh, default that we have. We can change that quite easily by coming across to the left hand side and where it says Y axis click on that and just click on uh, down or you can click on surface. I'm going to select surface. When we select the surface option the command line will ask us to select our surface which is our green surface here and now all the culets will be pointing in the correct direction. From here, we can simply grab our start position and take that to where we want it to go. We can take our end position down as well. You can taper uh, the gemstones if you wish by using any of these uh, commands here. So if we want to taper the diameter of the gemstones for example, we can switch that on. And now we have a handle at the top for the start diameter and one down the bottom as well. So we can decrease, say, or increase or decrease as we see fit. Let's say we want to go to say something like that to about 0.9 of a mil. And we can increase this size here or decrease whatever we feel like we need to do. All right, once we've got that there, we can also turn the tape of spacing on as well. That'll give us another option here for the row spacing. We can bring those in or and tighten them up a lot more. So we've got different patterns up the top here as well. So we can go to square, um, we can go to square pinched and that just brings the stones in a lot closer. Um, arrow, which gives you an arrow either end. Uh, you've got arrow positive and then also arrow negative as well. So it really depends on the design that you select. I'm just going to stick with hex. Though. And once I'm happy with where those stones are sitting then I can simply hit enter. From there I'm going to select my first row, or sorry, my uh, master row, hit F6 and I'm going to go down to prongs. Now here's where you need to adjust your prong sizes accordingly. So I'm going to take that uh, large prong diameter down, say about 0.4, just hold down shift to engage uh, increments of 0.1 of a mil. Take that height down a little bit more, say about 0.5 if you're setting, if it's for renders, take it down to say 0.3 or 0.2. Uh, let's leave that at 0.5 for the moment. And we'll have a look at the larger section here, because obviously those claws will need to be a little bit bigger, because the stones are a bit bigger. And we have uh, all of the options here that we need to play with. I'm going to take that to... So about 0.5 of the mil, that should be fine. You can increase or decrease your nudge as well. All the same usual prong uh, options that you have. And of course we can take that down to so 0.8 to say about 0.5 as well. 
and then hit enter. Once we've set that first row of prongs, then all we need to do is select the next row, hit F6, and match attributes to that stone there, prongs, and create, and keep moving along. So F6, match attributes, this one here, prongs, and create, and just keep on moving through. something like that. I hope that helps.